Heavenly Father, I stand in your royal courtroom because of the shed blood and the finished work of Jesus on the cross. I have come to receive your righteous judgment over my life. Heavenly Father, I ask that the courts of heaven be seated according to Daniel 7 and 10. I ask this in the mighty name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, I call upon your holy angels to be witnesses to this legal and righteous transaction. I also decree and declare that all the demonic entities, institutions, and human beings who will be impacted directly by this divine ruling that I am requesting be duly notified by your holy angels who service the courts of heaven. In Jesus' name I pray. Heavenly Father, it is written in Exodus 12 and 7, and they shall take of the blood and strike it on the two side posts on the upper door posts of the house wherein they shall eat it. Heavenly Father, it is written in Exodus 12, 13, and the blood shall be to you for a token upon the house where ye are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you and the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you when I smite the land of Egypt. Heavenly Father, it is written in Psalm 24, verse 1, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof the world, therefore, and they that dwell therein. Heavenly Father, it is written in Psalm 119, verse 89, Forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. Heavenly Father, it is written in Exodus 33 and 19, And he said, I will make all my goodness pass before thee, and I will proclaim the name of the Lord before thee, and will be gracious to whom I will be gracious, and I will show mercy on whom I will show mercy. Heavenly Father, it is written in Hebrews 4, and 16 let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need heavenly father based on the following scriptures and the faith in the name of jesus with the blood of jesus i anoint the two side posts and the upper door posts of this house according to exodus 12 and 7 Father, as you did for the children of Israel, the night you delivered them from Egypt, I ask for your divine mercy according to Exodus 33 and 19 and Hebrew 4 and 16, that the same deliverance will be provided for my household. Let this blood that I have applied be a sign of a covenant of your deliverance, a covenant of your divine protection, and a sign of no trespassing by all evil spirits on assignment to destroy anyone or anything that dwells in this house. Heavenly Father, I repent of any sins that has granted evil spirits legal rights to temporarily be in this home. I ask for the Father's forgiveness in the name of His Son, Jesus. I break every evil covenant and curse that has given these evil spirits the right to come into my home in the name of Jesus. I break the covenant and the curse with the power in the blood of Jesus. Heavenly Father, I ask now that your Spirit will reveal unto me anything that gives the enemy the right to enter into my home and declare my covenant with you broken. I pray that your mercy would restrain any attack of the enemy that is being planned because of these legal rights. I pray that you would reveal to me any objects or activities that the enemy is using as a legal right that I may reject and remove these objects and stop the activities when you reveal them to me in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father in Jesus Jesus name I inform any spirit claiming this home as their own home according to Psalm 24 and 1 make your claim null and void it is written the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof of the world and they that dwell therein Heavenly Father it is written in Psalm 119 89 forever O Lord thy word is settled in heaven it is written God has decreed that the earth is his so this home is his as well Heavenly Father based on the aforementioned scriptures your word is forever settled in heaven therefore i decree that every legal right the enemy is using to enter this home 
but is now by the shed blood of Jesus and the word of God revoked and nullified in the mighty name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, as a legal earthly occupant of this house, I ask that the courts of heaven would issue an eviction notice and a restraining order to every evil spirit that dwells or is attempting to dwell and cause harm to the occupants of this property and this household in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that according to Psalm 24 and 1, that this property is the Lord's and all those that dwell within heavenly father i request that the courts of heaven be loose the angels of god to execute the eviction notice by arresting every evil spirit that is in violation of your law and is trespassing on this property which is the lord's property i pray father in the name of jesus that the courts of heaven will loose the angels of god to bind every evil spirit and all their powers and effects that is dwelling in the walls in the windows the floor floors, the corners, the attic, in the closets, underneath the bed, in the wa in the water, in objects, in pictures, under the floors, in the clothing, in jewelry, in food, in the electronic devices, in any physical or metaphysical dwelling within the parameters of this consecrated property. Heavenly Father, I pray that the courts of heaven will loose these evil spirits to face the judgment of God. And I request that the father of these spirits would be removed from the this earth to be appointed to a place of their divine judgment and forbidden from re-entering this earth forever heavenly father i pray that the courts of heaven would loose the angels of god to locate every door window opening and ladder that the enemy is using to enter this home and that they be closed and destroyed by the fire of god in jesus name Heavenly Father, by faith, I receive this divine ruling from the courts of heaven in the name of Jesus. Now, by the grace and the mercy of the Lord God, I establish a blood covenant with God over my home. Now, according to Exodus 12 and 13, I loose the angels of God to cover my home and property with a dome of protection. I thank you and praise you, Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.